Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And today I'm gonna polish a piece of amber. This piece is probably will be the most impressive one I polished to date. And it has not even a spider in it. So I got this piece from a lady from the internet for like reasonable amount of price because it looked suspicious for me for what it has inside. And even though the piece is kind of polished, I will have to repolish it because you know it wasn't a well made job who polished it before. So let's inspect the piece and see what we will get today. I'm really excited. So here is our piece and as you can see it is shining so it is polished right but these white spots is like you know the separation of layering I hate it and it's really troublesome so we'll have to remove it so wh what's going on with this piece there's like tons and tons on, of flies inside like at least 10 you call it swarm I also managed to spot a tiny ant in it and there is something weird Let's try to you know, light it from the side and see if we can spot it. Mm, yeah, where the you know where the light is glimmering, there is something inside which I can't identify. It's either of some sort of plant inclusion, which looks pretty cool, or some really bizarre creature in it. So let's not waste any time, let's repolish it and let's inspect it through microscope. Almost forgot. Let's also weight it. It's not the smallest, but it's not the biggest. It's uh, 7.3 grams. So if I will, I will get it to 6, it will be alright. Because if I will remove even more weight from it, I will be sad. So 6 grams is our goal. I will be inspecting this piece a lot because there is flies all over the place and we don't want to remove any of them. I wanna be super careful with this piece because it's quite important for me. So this piece is really, really stubborn. The layering is very hard to remove. And I removed already crazy amounts of size and there is still layering left. It's not as bad as it was before, but I'm not sure if I can remove it already removed more than two grams and I haven't even touched the you know this problematic side <laughs> let's keep grinding there's no way back now See this corner? I will have to remove all the corner and there is possibly a small fly in that corner but I have to remove it because it's you know this layer of this corner it looks really bad on the piece 
now it's either saving one fly in it or making the piece more pretty and it's so hard to decide oh my god I really wanna save that fly I will try to save it somehow I'm not even sure if that's the fly I'm looking at it it's like black dot and there's lots of flies I'm assuming it's a fly if it's not a fly and I'm trying to save it so hard I will be you know <laughs> angry <laughs> if it's not I can tell you right now this is my most most challenging piece so far so I'm done drumming it will be quite well visible from this side uh, they you know unidentified inclusion but I couldn't make it like perfect guys you see right now like here where the light breaks there is this layering this piece is really terrible and in this side there's lots of insects so I stopped dremeling and I will finish the job manually with sandpaper so not to waste any time let's finish it and inspect it can't wait So, 800 grit sandpaper and 1200 sandpaper grit is done and it's a lot more shinier. It's getting to its previous shiny state. Now I will go with, you know, even higher grit levels and then I will go to polishing. Let's go. Voila! This is repolished piece. So there it is, little gem, unfortunately the white stuff that was before it kind of stayed because this whole layer would be removed if I would want to remove the white stuff and in that layer lots of insects, I had no choice but to leave it in there. The piece is a lot smaller but on the bright side it's a lot better visible what's inside and we will inspect it in a second now let's go and see what's inside guys I really can't wait and this is some sort of plant material guys yeah, I was hoping it for it to be some sort of canty peat or something like that. But you can see an ant here also. And this is the other side of it. There is some sort of flying insect, a midge. And uh, there is a wasp probably on top. Uh, generally this piece like is packed with insects. There is I last count at around 18 insects, including the plant material. A lot of flying midges, uh, fruit flies and so on. So this is like, they call it a swarm piece. But this is probably a tiny, tiny spider. I'm not sure, it's really small to tell. So I'm not disappointed and I do like this piece. Yeah, it's my first swarm piece with tons of insects inside. And for last thing, let's weight it again. I did remove really a lot, so I haven't <laughs> checked how much it weights. It will be my guess. It will be three with a half grams. No, oh, it's five foot thirty-nine. So I lost about two grams. It's not terrible. Oh my god, I was so worried. I removed so much. So it's not terrible. And this piece goes into my treasure box. Oh, 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 there we go <laughs> and yeah guys thanks for watching and this is the cover gun by the way yeah thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and bye